Well, I don't think you have to look at the greatest scheme. I think it's an important game regardless. Um, obviously, it's been a very exciting and, uh, and close one-day series. Um, I mean, if you look at the, on the tour itself, we've, you know, we managed to win four games out of six, and I think that's uh, it's been a really good going from our side. Uh, and both teams in the ODIs have been extremely competitive, so I think tomorrow will be a really exciting game. Uh, both teams have positives and, and things to work on. Yeah, definitely. I think throughout the series, um, a uh, start has been very important. You've seen most teams have been almost 150 for two or something after 30 overs. So it's been it's been good going on the top order on both sides. Uh, and he's right towards the back end. It has changed a bit because we've been used to what three or four years of having uh, five men in the circle. So. I think it's, it's been good personally, I feel, because it's kind of given bowlers a bit of a chance at the back end of the game. You know, before we used to get scores of, uh, I mean, you used to get quite big scores before uh, because of the extra guy uh, in the circle. And now at least the scores have come down a bit and I think it's given the bowlers a bit more of a game in, uh, in the ODIs. Yeah, it's, I don't exactly know why. Um, <laughs> it's a tough, it's a tough question because uh, you know, you're rightfully so. We've, as you mentioned, the team has South African team has done away from home. We've done reasonably well in the subcontinent as well. The different places we've been at, uh, I would say maybe it's just being able to adapt as quick as possible. Um, you know, the South African country and the nation are adaptable people. Um, so I think wherever we go, we try and try and learn as quick as possible what's the circumstances and the conditions we're in, and try and and play accordingly. And I think. Um, you know, with the with the sharing of knowledge and uh, throughout the years from the senior players and everybody who has experienced different conditions, I think that's kind of helped every batter who came into the setup to kind of you know perform it overseas. Sure, I, every every batter feels the big ones around the corner. <laughs> Even if you score 100, you you kind of back, hoping the big ones around the corner. Yeah, I've been batting uh, pretty well. I think most of the innings I've managed to get a little bit of something going and uh, kind of getting myself out all the time. Um, but you know, as you said, cricket's like that, um, and uh, for every batter, the next innings is the most important one. Well. Obviously, it depends on the wicket. I think this wicket, well, we'll wait and see how it reacts, but I'm not sure if it's uh, play similar to Chennai or not. Uh, but, you know, we're coming to the subcontinent, that's what you expect, and it's not a surprise to any of us. Um, like how when people come to South Africa, or foreign teams come to South Africa, they're expecting a bit of a seam, a bit of bounce, uh, and a challenge of a and your different skill is challenged. So, um, it's obviously going to be a big part, it's been a big part uh, for the ODIs as well as the, the Test Series. Yeah, and it's just uh, the the way you knew playing the subcontinent. Yeah, the seven having seven frontline batters has been a work, working formula for us. And obviously, as you mentioned, without JP, it does change things. Um, going into tomorrow, I'm not sure what the the captain and coach will, will exactly decide. Uh, but I mean, you would love to have 11 batters in the team, <laughs> didn't you? Um, yeah. So let's see what uh, what they decide.